Hey guys, Nonkel Roger here from Belgium. This is part 5 of uh, how to organize a show. Well, we've uh, ended up here in the last part and means of promotion. Well, the next part, uh, the next uh, thing you need to uh, educate yourself about is your target audience. Uh, what kind of people do you want to invite? Will, it, will there be punks? Will there be some techno maniacs? Will, will there be some kind of... Uh, uh, rappers or will there be some kind of hard rockers or bikers you know just uh, think about the specific people you want to invite and, and learn about uh, what what kind of things that that they attracted to you know they want to what kind of things uh, makes a very good show and a very good uh, party for them okay then you have the heart promotion which I talked about it here I call that heart promotion because it literally means that you have to get off your lazy ass and go do something that means you have to make posters you have to print it and you have to snap it on the wall somewhere and make uh, slap some flyers underneath it or something um, and uh, just you know going places and talking with people and promoting your event in person. Then you have the other kind of promotion that you can basically do in your living room, behind your PC, uh, just uh, spreading all kinds of information. Uh, by the way, MySpace, uh, Facebook and all these kind of profiles are a very good example. Maybe even YouTube would be a very good example for spreading information about your event. Okay, and uh, never forget when you're doing hard promotion, what kind of financial possibilities do you have? How much money do you want to spend on your posters? How much money do you want to spend on the flyers? Um, what, uh, what is the distance that you are prepared to drive to slap some flyers on the wall in some kind of cafe that, or bar that you've never been but where you heard there are some, some people who want to come to your show, you know? Uh, if, you're, if you want, you can also find sponsoring. Main thing about sponsoring is, uh, I will just sum it up, I don't want to waste a lot of time on it. Just find somebody who can uh, uh, who can be interesting to you, and uh, in the same time uh, that your show can be interesting to them. I will find uh, I will give you an example. If you're doing a punk concert, and you can ask some guy who is selling hot dogs to come to your punk concert, it will be interesting for them because he can sell a lot of hot dogs. But and. Uh, in the reverse, it would be interesting for you because you can arrange uh, a free meal from that guy uh, to your to your artist or to your DJ. You know, so basically, it's just a trade between the two parties and and uh, making yourself useful to both sides. Okay, uh, then we have very important finances. Make up a financial plan. How much uh, money do you want to spend before the show on preparations on the renting of the of the pub or the venue on setting up the equipment setting up uh, buying the drinks uh, you know uh, from from some kind of uh, supplier uh, setting up the merchandise making posters etc etc just grab a sheet of paper and just write it down all of it you know just to to the smallest detail uh, write down even if you need pencils for writing some kind of stuff and uh, on on the show itself you know so um, uh, and also make a zero point plan and that is uh, when you have all your finances covered uh, just make make up uh, all the means of the how you're going to be earning money and how much uh, fans and how much consumptions will you need for uh, cover to cover all the costs that you would be at zero that you would uh, end up um, at, at zero so you lost nothing and you gained nothing this is a very very good tool to help you out and of course try to cover all the expenses and you don't have to be you don't have to be very very inventive on that kind you don't have to put the best beer for the bands you don't have to put champagne and caviar of course you know? <laughs> okay guys up to the part 6